When using WPS Writer, we can use the Restrict Editing function to protect the Word document. First, Restrict Editing. First, get into the Review tab and click Restrict Editing to open the Restrict Editing dialog on the right. Here we can check the option titled Limit Formatting to a Selection of Style. Next, click Settings to pop up the dialog, where we can set format restrictions for the selected text. In this way, any format changes will not be allowed in this document. While the Format Painter tool is unable to be used, we can restrict formatting to the styles by selecting in the Show drop down menu in terms of actual demands. If you want to make it more accurate, you can select Used in this document at Show and see the document's styles in the Styles are currently allowed box on the left below. Taking the balloon text as an example, select the balloon text click Limit, and click OK to restrict all balloon text formats. Note that we need to choose No in the dialog. Don't choose Yes, or else the selected contents will be deleted. Next, click Start Protection to pop up the Protection Password dialog. Here we can set the Protection Password, then click OK to complete the settings. In this way, when returning to the editing interface and click the text box, we'll find the format changes restricted. To cancel the format restriction, get into the Restrict Editing interface and click Stop Protection. After that, set the protection password. Second, different options for document protection. There are different options for document protection. Return to the Restrict Editing interface on the right-hand side. There is an area titled Set Protection Way in the document which provides four options of protection ways. If we turn on the read-only mode, which restricts editing on the document, the tracked changes mode allows editing and will track the changes. Turning on the comments mode will only allow adding comments in the document. The filling in forms mode refers to the status that only filling is allowed. Choose read-only and click start protection. Then we can set the protection password in the pop-up dialog then click OK to complete the settings. Then the Word document will be protected, with the upper function area becoming inaccessible.